Well, hello everybody. I'm on my channel. I'm going to talk to you today about axes. A question came up from a friend. Clarence, hey, here's a big shout out to you. And all my Cossack brothers out there that love Cossack martial arts. Question came up about axes and sharpening of axes and use of axes. All right. So, starting from the right, right there, that is listed as a belt axe. Technically, it's a hatchet. Okay. This is what we would call a belt axe. Okay. It's small, it's lightweight, it's the kind of thing you take camping. This is a broad axe. Okay, you can see, hence the term broad axe, right there, you can see it wiggle. Okay, uh, they are still popular in Russia, I guess it'll get made and used. All right, right here, this is called a Pulaski. This is a forestry axe, it also has a grubbing end on it. Okay, and I'm talking about this part right here. That's the grubbing end. Okay, then we have right here, fire axe. Okay, so a fire axe gets used by firefighters and it's used for specific purposes. So each one of these axes, what's unique about them, is they'll require a different kind of edge. There's a lot of information out there on the internet right now, and a lot of it is based upon one type of axe and a person throwing them, or general use without really an explanation of how to sharpen them properly based upon their use. So there's a lot of really bad information as I was digging around. The only thing I found that was still decent was from the Forest Service, surprisingly enough school information left over so I'm gonna be sharpening each one of these put a proper edge on them and again think about what are they being used for this one here is what used for camp service okay splitting little pieces of wood making shavings it's for making a fire same with this small pieces cutting little pieces of firewood cutting branches this on the other hand is what you'd use to shape something down it's a broad axe okay that's what this is meant for okay but it's not a splitting axe this here they used to use these for making rails but a Pulaski is actually a forestry tool um, sometimes you'll hear them called rail splitters because they're shape but the Pulaski is both a cutting tool and a grubbing tool fire axe okay fire axe is made for cutting through a roof okay and it has a pick end. That pick end was originally made for raking lath, for lath and plaster. And the tip is made for cutting through roofing and into boards. So again, it's made for cutting through abrasive surfaces, making it a different, having different requirements. Each one of these things has a different weight to it, a different feel, and if you notice, a different type of handle. Now you notice I have this thing clamped down. Okay, there's a reason I do this. This way I can sharpen it correctly. I wear gloves and I have a file and there's a specific way I use the file. Now the reason I clamp these down is so that they don't rock or move. If you are so lucky to have the money for a sharpening jig to hold your axe like forestry stations have, hey more power to you. Um, those are not cheap items and they're like the rest of us we just got a workbench. So this is how to set up a workbench. Notice how I have it clamped. There's logic to all of this. Okay, a couple of things. Um, one, don't do this. That's the best way I know to hurt yourself. This is called draw filing. You hold the file like this, and you bring it down towards you. Just like this. Safest way and the most effective way to sharpen an axe. And it maintains the angle in which it was supposed to be made in. Now, there's a lot of information about what angle for which type of axe, and I'm not gonna jump off into that rabbit hole most important, if you notice, it's about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch wide. This is your edge. This is the way it's properly sharpened. You notice it comes down quickly. And I'm wearing gloves. And it keeps my hands from getting cut as well as properly sharpens. You do not rub this like a piece of sandpaper. That's the fastest way to destroy your file. So you can see from another angle. This is a method taught to me by Melvin Butler, my crew chief, back in 1979, 1980. Uh, 
draw filing is the most effective way to sharpen your axe properly, maintain your angle, not screw it up. You'll see plenty of people that say a lot of different things. They say to go like this and you put a hand guard on. If you're doing that, you're going to get yourself hurt or ruin the file. And again, this is how you put the proper edge on the mumbly bumps and it will give you a proper axe edge in a rapid manner. All right, so you notice I've turned the axe over. It's clamped down to a flat surface. Put a wedge underneath, make sure it doesn't roll. So when your axe, when your, when your file starts to get full, wrap it on the surface, clean it. Again, this is draw filing. It's a machinist trick. It's taught to me by my forestry boss. It allows me to prop, put a proper edge on it. And not destroy my file. Nice long strokes. That's what makes it nice and clean. Brings your angle down like you're supposed to. Again, there's gauges out there. You can go and check these with gauges. And your angle is important because it goes to what you're going to use the axe for. This is a camp axe, so it's going to be used as an all-around tool. Alright, so we've made it even on both sides, say it's about a quarter inch now. Problem is it starts getting a wire edge. And you kind of see it here. It's right there. And yeah, it's sharp. But what we want to do is take that wire edge off. So that your axe bites well, you want to make sure that this side, as you can see here, the nice clean edge is as wide as the other so that the angle is the same on both sides otherwise it'll roll from one side to the other so this has some more work that has to come down to about right there so this is usually done to about a quarter inch to three eighths wide even on both sides okay so now we gotta kinda have to take off our gloves for this one okay cause you need to use the oil and it gets all over your gloves and ruins your gloves so I got us a sharpening stone and what we're going to do, it's going to go one direction. I like to put something underneath it so it keeps it from moving. It's just me. But when I'm done, it'll be sharp enough to shave with it. Not that I recommend that, but it can be done. And uh, those out there, just so you know, you don't have to wear a flannel shirt and uh, have a beard to be an expert with an axe. I've been using an axe for 42 years as a forestry fireman, firefighter throughout my career. So just a little bit of information about me using axes. Haven't had to maintain them since I was a kid. So now, that axe is nice and sharp, nice clean edge. You can see it there, okay. Take it to the back of your nail, scratches it up good. Be careful now, guys, gals. This thing is nice and sharp. Still got a little wire edge on it. So, turn it around. You may actually have to hone it out a little bit more because this is a softer steel. So. It is right now I'm feeling for us. I'm feeling across for the wire edge and it's almost gone. I gotta get a, get a finer stone for it. All right, back again. Got a finer stone. Same thing, same direction. Be really careful at this point, everybody. This thing is nice and sharp. This is what you want, okay? But it will hurt you. 
see right now does a nice job of just shaving off little pieces it's where I want it to be okay it's a nice sharp X that's the way it's supposed to be done thanks for watching my video all right so I was talking about the eye of the axe this is the eye here's the handle set see the wedges are 45 okay across the wood that's the way they're supposed to be set um, this is proper this is by the way a very old marbles axe we carried it all the way across the country used it camped with it back in 72 um, been in the family a long time good axe nice and straight good handle well mounted needs probably to be sanded now and have a little linseed oil put back on it and repainted so anyway thanks for watching my video and uh, see you on the next one so a little bit about this type of axe they call it a belt axe the reason it's called a belt axe it's made to what go on your belt you'd use it as a some people would use it as a falling axe it's more of a camp axe anyway you can use this as a belt axe to pound your wedges in and uh, if you get your saw stuck dig it out remember if you get your saw stuck and it pinches well guess what you got your handheld cutting tool here should be sharp enough to be able to take it out without hitting it anyway um other thing you can do is use it for limbs uh taking off limbs when you're doing falling and rolling um, logs it's a good all-around tool uh don't use it as a hammer it was never meant to be a hammer um, nothing screws up the uh, eye of an axe faster than using these things as a as a hammer.